the cheapest way I found and one of the best to actually protect the wood on my trailers and other outdoor wooden items is actually just old engine oil. Um, it's oil. The exact same thing you'd find in um, oil-based stain, stuff like that, outdoor stain, just used and dirtier and you don't get to choose the exact color. Without getting overly complicated, I mean, it's as simple as just putting oil on and wiping it in. We're done. But that takes a little while and I like to spray it. So there's two different methods I use. One is with an airless sprayer, but if you've ever used one of these, they're just loud, a little obnoxious. Or with a air gun that you would use with an air compressor. It's just too thick to actually spray through an air gun. So what I have to do is dilute it. And there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can just do it with mineral spirits or uh, paint thinner, something to that effect. But cheaper than that, because this is on a cheap theme, is I like to use more oil. And uh, the thinnest oil you can buy is diesel fuel. It's not like gasoline, anything else like that, diesel fuel. It's not um, flammable anywhere near what gasoline is. So you can see right here, I'll just take my air gun, and you can see how thin this stuff is compared to the oil I poured a second ago. You see I already have some mixed up. It's like water, and that's what you need it to be. So I'll just mix it up in my gun usually. Whoops. I'll just pour some used motor oil in, and then I'll take some diesel fuel. And this diesel fuel is actually, um, it's dyed red because it's for off-road use only. You're not supposed to put it in your vehicle to drive on road. So it's for farm equipment, stuff like that. And I'll, I'll pour it anywhere between 25 to 50% diesel fuel, which is just oil. It's just a really, really, really thin oil. And I'll just put that in. And the same goes for the airless sprayer, is you need, to, you need to dilute it. And then I just mix it up and it's ready to spray. Now, the biggest drawback to this is you don't get to choose your color but this is outdoors and this stuff works absolutely amazing. So we'll spray some on and go from there. And the process is the exact same for a fence. I put down some wood underneath to catch any drips so I don't get any oil on the dirt. So you can see the professional stain in the background that my neighbor did not even a year ago. And the sprinklers are already wearing it off. And you can see my side. So the oil is can hold up great, just as well as the uh, the commercial stain. All still wet. And the number one comment I get from people when I did my shed video, I did this exact same method. Is holy crap, you just barely made yourself an outdoor match. And it's an open flame. Yeah, if I hold it somewhere, I can catch the wood itself on fire. But oh, it, it flared up off actually just a little sliver of wood right there. So you can see the wood will catch just like it would before. But it also, the oil, an oiled piece of wood will burn slower than because the oil acts as a wick and slows down the burn versus a raw, tendered piece of something. If you took a tree branch and you soaked it in oil, you threw it in a fireplace, it would take two hours to burn down, where without, it would take 20 minutes. So, just to show you that this is not a flammable, gonna blow you up surface, I can burn this tree, piece of tree branch, but it's not gonna blow you up. So it took me all of uh, five minutes to do it with spraying, not even five minutes. And you can see some surface, some areas are still oiled up a little bit, and that's fine. The wood will actually soak it up. You actually kind of want to just goop it on there. The more on there, the more wood the wood will soak up, and it'll dry to where it's not slippery or anything else like that. It's wood. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you want to see how the shed that I did the same way turned out, I'll put a link um, right after this or down in the description so you can see exactly the shed that I did and how that turned out. It turned out really well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up. See you guys soon. Bye.